Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? I was getting really close there for a second. <laughs> Welcome to Studio 205. This is my Fluid Art channel. Today I'm going to be taking um, just a little mini break from um, my color palette streak of those colors and that one right there in order to do a demo. Um, so happy to be included in this huge event coming up August 6th through 9th at the Green Valley Ranch in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, it's PourCon. I am one of 22 artists. So today I thought I'd show you um, one of the techniques I will be teaching, which is not your grandma's flip cup, and uh, kind of go back to old school and show you the pretty compositions and things you can do with a good old fashioned flip cup. Let me get you down. We'll talk on the flip side about PourCon. Okay, guys, this is just a uh, little 10 by 20. It's a good size for flip cups, I feel. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my recipe. But there are so many variations of this that you can pretty much do any of these. Like some people, um, they just use glue and water, either 70% glue, 30% water. Some people do 65% uh, glue and 35% water. There's all kinds of combinations with glue and water and Floetrol. There's recipes with Floetrol and glue. There are recipes with glue and store-bought pouring medium and water. There are some recipes with glue and varnish. It can be hella confusing. Today I have made up, and it's almost gone. I did 20 ounces. I did eight, eight, and four. And today I did use the store-bought pouring medium. I did eight ounces of Elmer's glue wall, eight ounces of color pouring medium gloss by Golden. It looks like this. So Golden's color pouring medium gloss. You can use this straight, obviously. It is a true pouring medium. And then I did four ounces of water. So eight ounces of Elmer's glue all eight ounces of the golden color pouring medium gloss just to help defray the cost of this and then four ounces of water that gave me my 20 ounces gave that a good mix and then I added it to my colors for pigments today I'm using two piggy colors uh, I have this little piggy this is crescendo really pretty and I also have sea glass so those are my two piggy colors. And then my other colors, I have Amsterdam Phalo Blue. I have Amsterdam's Turquoise. Super pretty. And then I just made up some black and white. So this is uh, Amsterdam's, uh, what is this? I don't remember. Titanium white and what kind of black did I grab? I grabbed, I know it's not lamp. Uh, oxide black. So that's oxide black. And then here's my titanium white. My ratio, and this will all be in the description section for the tube colors, is basically one to one. And then I augmented with just a little more pouring medium if it needed it. And I use the feel test. I paint by feel. Um, and let me show you the black because I think that'll show up on camera. So you can see, there's my trace. It lasts a good second and a half. It pours off the stick really nicely. Um, a slightly on the thicker side, which is what I prefer. And then the pigments, the recipe and how I did it is I just, just like a bloom technique, I dispersed them or made them wet with a little bit of varnish. And then I added about two heaping tablespoons of my gel gloss, also by Golden. Let me grab it. And I just used the regular gel gloss. And I added that once the pigments were wet, I added my two heaping tablespoons that made them really nice and thick. And then I just added my pori medium as usual and treated them as if they were two paints. I am going to use my spot on 
treadmill silicone today. This stuff right here. Get it off of Amazon. It's in my Amazon shop. Link is in the description section. Um, I was going to do an ombre thing. So to me, ombre doesn't necessarily mean rainbow. It's just a series of colors from dark to light or light to, to, to dark. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go light to dark. I'm going to add probably, let's do, ooh, that was a lot, three, three drops in every color except white of my um, treadmill silicone. One, two, three, this lid is open. The caps um, to these containers for the treadmill silicone, uh, if you open them up too much, then it pours out. So I barely open the cap, that way you get drops. One, two, three. That way you have a little more control. Otherwise, it'll pour out. And this is about all I do for the mixing. That's it. The black. Three for the turquoise. That was fast. One, two, three. Quick little mix. And then for the phthalo blue. One, two, three. Give that a little mix. All right, let's layer some cups. These are 12 ounce cups. One should do it. I'll probably do one and a half. I always like to have a little bit. I'm doing this on a dry canvas, by the way. I'm not putting down a base coat. I could if I wanted to. I typically do these dry. Maybe I do. Flip it on some white. I'll probably take my leftover white and just pour it around the puddle. That way you don't waste it. So let's start light to dark. So let's go with some white at the bottom of the cup. And then it's a toss up between which is lighter, the sea glass or the um, crescendo. Let's go with, I don't know which one's lighter. Let's go with the crescendo. And then sea glass or turquoise. I'm gonna I'm gonna separate the the two piggies. So I'm gonna put the next lightest color, which is the turquoise, in between the two piggy colors. So now the sea glass. And then the phthalo blue. And then the black. And I think I'm just going to repeat in this one cup. So do white. I'll save the rest of my white. What did we do? Sea glass. We'll switch it up a little. We'll do sea glass first this time. I think we did crescendo first the last time. And then the turquoise. The crescendo. And the phalo. Blue. And black. That's it. I'm just going to, am I going to flip and drag? I think I'm going to flip and drag a bit, um, which I haven't done in forever. Uh, just because this is long and skinny. If it was a square, I would probably just flip cup it. But let's flip and drag. So I'm going to put this up at this end there. And then I'm just going to use my leftover white. I'm just going to put some on the corners, I think. I think there's plenty of paint in this cup. So let's play the bongos, help the paint get down there. Move cups out of my way. And 
lift this up and then I'm just gonna tilt like this and then drag as I go down it's tricky flipping drags are trickier flip cup you know is pretty self-explanatory flip and lip is just running the lip very lightly through your design after you done your flip cup but the flip and drag is tricky because if you go too quick and tilt all the paint runs out and then when you go to drag there's not enough paint to get where you're going it is kind of a balancing act of lifting the cup and pulling the paint out of the cup um and then so you get like a nice even line i'm really rusty at it i think so i'm going to cheat by holding the edge of the canvas up that'll help whoops and then oh look at all the white came out at the end we're going to leave that there because that's going to be pretty i'm predicting it now i have a little bit left in my cup maybe we'll put it here it's kind of stripey it's probably going to get tilted off and no cells to speak of a couple little baby ones going dark to light um we're going to tilt first so i'm going to take this there should be plenty of paint we'll do the black area first we'll use that white that we put down see how it's helping it slide give that a little tilt and come over to the other side when you see that waddled waddled <laughs> When you see the modeled white, I'm telling you now, I think I mentioned this in Santa Fe, um, that usually produces some of the prettiest cells when you go to torch. So don't get discouraged if you try this at home and you see that, it's usually a good thing. I used my hand to kind of save some of the paint and that worked out kind of well. And we're just gonna come down to this other end Kind of stair step our way. I'm gonna take off those lines there. Oh, this is like a little beach scene we got going on. And then we're gonna bring it, just let it slide over to the other side. Take off what we don't like. I've gotta leave a little bit of paint because you still wanna tilt after you torch. So we'll do something like that, put it on, check my coverage. You know I don't like that blue bikini corner, <laughs> so we're going to cover it up. I'm like, no, ah, uh, sorry, this one too. I'm so weird. And then I'm going to take some phantom blue off my top here and touch up my corner. I'm just letting things kind of rest for a second before I, before I torch. And my gloves are a mess. I'm going to lose these. And grab my torch. And we're just going to torch kind of up high and pop some bubbles. And then slowly come in closer. So the crescendo here is super pretty and there is a darker color underneath of it. So I'm going to kind of just torch in lines. I don't think I even want big cells. I'm going to torch this line up. Kind of go up high for a second because there's a bunch of bubbles. Up here. I think I'm going to leave that middle kind of blank. I might have to get it a little closer because all my cells seem to be kind of tiny. So I'm going to chicken torch, as I like to call it, and do things on the edge, on the edges. That way I can watch them grow and if they get too big or too clustered, I can tilt them off easy enough. So you're going to give that a second. I'm going to put on another pair of gloves. I'm 
really liking the colors. The sea glass, it's interesting. The sea glass kind of got lost down here, but it has mingled with the black up here and is a really gorgeous shade um, of a dark green. And you guys know me, if I tilt this out and I don't like it, I think I have enough paint to go again. Not afraid. Since it's like, I don't like, what do I don't like? This big cell here. So let's say goodbye to that and just kind of tilt it straight off. Let's see if my cells grow. Say bye bye. There was a big white cell that went off too. And I'm going to tilt the other way too. Just kind of stretch things out, even it out. I kind of got like this whole nighttime at the beach vibe going on. I'm kind of liking that. And there's my cells growing. Can you see that? Looking super pretty. Let me stop and stare. I'm loving everything except for this cell right there. <laughs> like, I don't like it. Um, I'm really happy with the ombre effect that I got though. The light to dark, that worked out really well despite my effort um, with a bad flip and drag. Definitely rusty, but I think this is kind of cool. I might take off a glove and stick my finger in this part I don't like. Because I'd rather have like a little star in the sky or something than that blob. You know, gotta be picky. Oh yeah, that's much better. I like that. Let's see if I can get this glove back on. I might um, tilt it a little bit more just to lose a little more paint. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with this. The cells are great. Not too many of them. Um, I do. I I think these this particular um, style, these ombres, they look better um, when you leave some background. So I want to take some off this side again because there's still a bunch of paint stretch out the cells we're just gonna let it go and then i might am i good there letting things drip off and then take it back that'll fix anything that got too wonky oops my little cups let me stare at it now. Oh yeah, super cute. Should I? Uh, I think I only have 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop there, get you guys down for a close-up, and uh, yell in the comment section if you have any questions. Hold on. Is that a glare? Am I still glaring? Hold on. Does it have to be over here? Like that. Can you see it now? I'm going to hold it up for a second so you can see it. I'll get you down, but the glare, the dark color. Yep. Or maybe I do this. this oh, yeah. Look at that. All right. Be right back. All right, guys, here's a close-up of the what results of this one. Um, I need to get this video up, so I have to show you the dry results on another day. Um, super cool. Very, like, you know, nighttime at the beach feel. I My favorite thing, and it's not showing up on camera as well as it does in person, is the crescendo everywhere. It could be because I have uh, turned out my lights. But... That light purple is there. Um, I wanted to show you way up high here because this is 
the sea glass color mixing with the black everywhere. And I love how it goes like stars in the sky and it's dark and then it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. So that's what I will be teaching you at PourCon. This is one version of it. We'll do a different version as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. We hope to see you in Vegas. Hold on, let me flip around and say goodbye. <laughs> All right, Goober Girl signing off here. Um, this was going to be collab. And then uh, when I was told I could just do a video and get it up this week, I thought I had it in my head that I, you only have 15 minutes. So I was happy I realized, like, oh, I can play. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we hope to see you in Las Vegas at PourCon. Please, please, if you're going to come, get your tickets quick. The early bird special ends April 22nd. Use the code, all one word, early bird. Save yourself a couple hundred bucks. It's worth it. I mean, seven classes. It's amazing. I hope to see you in one of mine, but totally understand if not, because uh, you got some great, great artists to choose from and some great speakers. So hope to see you there. Meet me at the pool. You know, have a margarita. Or your beverage of choice. I'm rambling. You guys take care. Peace and love to you all. Please like, share, and subscribe as usual. I'll see you next time. Peace out.